everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. Today I want to start a little bit of a series um, to feature more affordable style wigs. Uh, sometimes after the holidays when we're, we're cash poor, but we still want some new hair once in a while, it's really interesting and neat to take a look at some of the more affordable styles. Um, this would give you the ability maybe to get some fresh hair without busting your budget. I am filming this on my iPad today. I've got a little bit of an issue with the camera, so if that cannot be fixed, then I'll end up getting a new one. So hopefully the iPad is going to do the job. Now you won't get the wide angle that my camera would allow, and sometimes the lighting isn't as good. But no worries, I'll still take you outside and show you a close-up of the color. So to kick off our series today, I am going to show you an affordable style from Renee of Paris in their Alexander Couture collection. This one's called Suzanne and it's in the color Chocolate Frost R. Full review and comparisons coming up. Oh, oh, oh. Suzanne is a super cute, short, straight, asymmetrical, layered, bob cut style in the color Chocolate Frost R. Let's talk about that Chocolate Frost R for just a moment. It's a gorgeous rich color. So it starts with a rich dark chocolate brown base color. And then in that you'll see some honey blonde and then some very fine platinum highlights. It gives it that frosted effect. And that does have a slightly darker root. I love the rooting on this color because it's only slightly darker than the main body of the color. It appears to be really soft and well blended. So let's talk about the specs for Suzanne real quick. You notice there's some asymmetry here. It says there's about a five and a half inch fringe bang. Now that's true on the left side. I believe that's gonna come down to about the hollow of your cheek. But then on the right side, you're going to see an additional layer here on the side that stretches down right around six, six and a half inches, creating some of that symmetry on the right side. In the back, about a 4.75 inch crown area, and a two and a half inch nape. Suzanne weighs about 2.46 ounces and features a completely open cap. Now this is what's keeping the price down. There's no fancy features at all on this cap. You won't find any lace or monofilament features. Uh, this is truly a shake and go kind of style. Suzanne retails right around $120 to $130 and that's before any discounts are applied. So if you do have a industry standard type discount, it would take that under $100 for this style, and it comes in quite a few colors. So here's the gist, and here's exactly what you need to know about this style. Suzanne has a ton of permatease, as you can imagine. Most of your permatease is going to be all throughout the top and the crown. Now, I love how this permatease is done on this style. Um, it just really gives it a beautiful, high, very lifted and voluminous profile. So just remember that if you are purchasing a lighter color in an unrooted color option, you might actually be able to see down into that permatease. Now this is well disguised because it is a darker color and it also is rooted. So I can't really see down into any permatease. I can also tell you that uh, this is right out of the box. I haven't used any styling product or anything on it. I simply shook it out and put it on and kind of arranged it with my finger. It's really easy to pull out and prop up these fibers as to disguise any permatease that you might be able to see through to at the top. So this is a nice, uh, a nice average density style. Uh, the fibers seem to be of average denier if you're familiar with you know, Noriko fibers, uh, the traditional Rene of Paris fibers. I think you're really gonna like this. In fact, it reminds me a little bit of the Rene of Paris Gia. I had the opportunity to review that one uh, a couple years ago and it was in this color even. It just really reminds me of that style and it was really beautiful and that's exactly what the fibers felt like. But they're wispy enough around the face. It's not a big, thick uh, area of fiber around the face. Actually, what's around the face seems to be very wispy. So the gist of this style is it's a short, straight, angled bob cut that has lots and lots of volume, a very high profile, and then some beautiful uh, asymmetry around the face. I'm going to go ahead and give you a spin here indoors, then I'll take you outdoors for a look at this color and style.
an inside look at the cap at Renee of Paris's Suzanne. And this is just an up close look at the color with the beautiful frosted highlighting there. Looking at the inside of the cap, this is a very minimal cap. So here are your open wefts on top. They're encumbered by some rose lace there. Now you will find a small strip of velvet all along that hairline. And there are some hairs that spliced right into that piece. So that's what I think makes it super comfortable and a little more realistic there at the hairline. And I'm searching for the ear tabs and I'm having trouble finding them. They're very, very minimal. In fact, when I went to adjust this cap, I had a hard time finding them. Um, they're just wee tiny little ear tabs, uh, very minimal stays, uh, hardly any uh, fortification there on those stays. And then it's a standard velvet nape with bra strap type adjusters, lots of wefting. This has really nice coverage. The cap fits average right out of the box, but I didn't have to make any adjustments to be comfortable with the petite average circumference. I think it's super fun to work with this style in terms of styling. I can just imagine just playing with these bangs. I love fringe around the face with a shorter style. It just gives so much flexibility and versatility. Let's try with my reader's glasses here. Okay, so the reader's glasses fit very nicely between the ear and the ear tab. Now sometimes when you have a lot of permatease on a style, it makes that more difficult. But because these ear tabs are super minimal, um, I do believe you'll get a very nice fit for your glasses. So again, just working with this part, there's no designated parting space. You can part it wherever you like. I kind of prefer it right there on the left hand side and just kind of prop up and make that really wispy around the face. If you wanted to trim in a shorter bang straight across or fringe, you could definitely do that on this style. So if you wanted to change it. It's more of a right part. So I think this fringe is really fun and I love the asymmetry of it, but if you just wanted a little bit of a different look, I think you could uh, actually tuck the longer side behind the ear to reduce the drama of, of that asymmetry. You can place that on the asymmetrical side. It would also be fun to pin back away from the face a little bit. I wouldn't be afraid to do this on the hairline. So what you do is you just pin it back a little bit and then you pinch forward just a few fibers there at the hairline. So no, it's not a lace front, but it also doesn't look terrible and it doesn't give it away. So with little short styles like this with lots of height and volume and texture, I love wearing collars with that. I think it just accents the cheekbone so nicely. It's the cutest thing. Got a bit of a sweater here with a cowl neck on it. Um, but you can certainly wear a scarf so beautifully with a style like this. And don't forget to check this out at Wig Studio. One, all of the links are provided below. Have a wonderful day.